Hi all, welcome to my channel. This video is about NoSQL Workbench. NoSQL Workbench for DynamoDB is a client-side GUI tool which can be used for designing and operating your database. It's a visual development tool that provides data modeling, data visualization and query development features. You can use this tool for managing your DynamoDB tables effectively. In the video description, I'll give you the link to download and install this tool. Now let's see how we can define a DynamoDB table and add items into that table using NoSQL Workbench. Okay, let's start. If you haven't already installed NoSQL Workbench on your laptop, you can go to Amazon DynamoDB Developer Guide and from there you can download and install it. In my video description, I will include the link to this document so that you can refer to that. I have already installed NoSQL Workbench. So let me open NoSQL Workbench. Okay, so this is the NoSQL Workbench tool, which is a client-side GUI tool. So today what we are going to do is, we will use NoSQL Workbench to create a DynamoDB table and add items into that table. We will use this tool only for that. We will not use the console. So how do we go about that? The first thing is, you have to go to data modeler because we want to create a data model with the partition key, sort key, etc. So go to data modeler. So here you can see that if you click on this plus symbol, you can create a new data model. So basically what we are going to do is create the design of the table. So before we do that, I will quickly show you the table which we want to create today. So this is the table, a simple list of countries and their respective continents with the GDP value in trillion dollars and then the language spoken there and population in millions. So we'll add only two or three entries, but this is the table structure which I'm going to create. So let me go back. So click on create new data model. And here you can create the model from scratch by clicking on this or there are some models, there are some templates which are already available. So bookmarks, employee data model, etc. There are more templates you can refer to that. But here I'm going to create a model from scratch. So select. Okay. It is asking about what is the name of your model. I will just say because it is countries list, I'm just saying country, countries model. Any name you can give. Author you can give just your name and a description list of countries with the GDP data something which makes sense then click on create so the data model is created now we have to use this data model to create a table in amazon dynamodb for that first we have to establish a connection so how do we establish a connection with amazon dynamodb go to operation builder so here it says active connections there is no active connection now so click on add connection and here connection name connection one it says so i will just say connection hyphen ddb or dynamo db default aws region i usually use us east one so let it be access key id and secret access key you have to get it from iam page so go to iam here my iam page so here easier way is just go to right side top your name will appear here go here and click on security credentials and come down AWS IAM credentials come down access keys already one pair of access keys I have created but I'm going to create a new one for this purpose so click on create access key and I'm going to use it for command line interface anything is okay you can just mention that confirmation and next and I will just say training create access key so I have the access key so just copy the access key I'm not downloading it because I'm going to delete it soon so access key and secret access key. So copy this secret access key and paste it. Yes. Now session token, IAM role, IR, and etc. You can leave that. Persist connection, you can just select it, connect. Okay, so the connection is ready. Now what you can do is you can open this connection. So the connection is ready. Already some tables are already existing in my AWS DynamoDB, student results, notes, etc. I'm going to create a new one using this new model. So to create the new table, go to visualizer, click on create new table. So it is asking for table name. I will just say countries 
to make it simple and partition key is continent name continent and it's a string and i'm going to add a sort key which is country name so country and that is also a string then i'm going to add a few more attributes if you remember we need gdp language population let me add that also so add an attribute so first one is number and the second one is a string and the third one is also a number first one is gdp i am not mentioning trillion dollars and then language and then population again it is in millions but i am not mentioning it now okay so i have added the primary key or i have added the partition key sort key and i have added three attributes now if there are any global secondary indexes which you are planning you can add it here and if you want to update the capacity settings in terms of rcu wcu that also you can update here i'm not doing that let me add the table okay so the table definition is ready click on visualize the data model aggregate view and now you can commit this to amazon dynamo db so if you go back to dynamo db console i have two tables here notes and student results i'm going to add one more table which is called countries so for that go back to your no sql workbench commit to amazon dynamo db so it is asking which connection you want to use anyway there is only one connection connection ddb or write existing tables the table is not existing so it is okay commit it will take a few seconds okay go to your console refresh now you can see that the countries table is also appearing in the list in dynamo db console now we can add a few entries into this table right now it is empty so how do we do that again go back to your no sql workbench and you can go to operation builder so to add a few entries into your table come to no sql workbench click on operation builder and if the connection is not open you can open the connection and then select your table which is countries then come to particle operations and here click on expand operation and you can select particle transaction and then i am using insert into a countries value continent europe country spelling mistake country turkey gdp 1.2 language turkish population 23 million so i am going to add this after entering the statement you have to run click on run and please note that there is slight differences between the sql syntax and particle syntax so you have to be uh, careful about that i will give some of these statements as part of my cheat sheet click on run it says success so let us go and see if the entry is here click on countries and explore table items you can see that that particular entry is here europe turkey so let me also add one more entry in this time it is for india so go back there and uh, you can delete this so this time it is for india so let me run this so it is giving error because the curly bracket is missing so run so it is successful just go back and check refresh there should be two entries one for turkey one for india so you can see that the second entry is also here so basically not just creation of a table and addition of items it can be used for designing your lsi or local secondary index global secondary index etc or to manage your rcu wcu capacity etc so no sql workbench is a very useful tool in managing your dynamo db table i will include all the relevant information in my cheat sheet and the link to cheat sheet will be available in video description hope you enjoyed this video i will come back with more useful videos please consider subscribing to my channel thank you bye